Good day everyone. I hope you are all doing well. For today, we will be discussing about the Philippine Clean Air Act. First, let us define what it is. Republic Act No. 8749, otherwise known as the Philippine Clean Air Act, is a comprehensive air quality management policy and program which aims to achieve and maintain healthy air for all Filipinos and reduce air pollution by including environmental protection activities into the government's development plans. It was enacted on June 23, 1999, under the administration of President Joseph Estrada. Next. Next. What are the guiding principles of the Clean Air Act? The CAA provides that the state shall protect and advance the right of the people to a balanced and healthful ecology in accord with the rhythm and harmony of nature, promote and protect the global environment while recognizing the primary responsibility of local government units to deal with environmental problems. Recognize that the responsibility of cleaning the habitat and environment is primarily area-based. Recognize that polluters must pay. Recognize that a clean and healthy environment is for the good of all and should therefore be the concern of all. So what can you do to help clean the air? Although the level of air pollution has reached a critical point, there are still ways by which we can produce the number of air pollutants from the air. Next, for vehicle owners or motorists, they should maintain their vehicle by changing their oil regularly every 5,000 kilometers. Keep the engine well-tuned following the owner's manual. Keep tires properly inflated. Plan trips and observe proper driving habits and remove unnecessary things from the trunk. Don't overload and travel only at speed required by traffic regulations and road conditions. For commuters, try talking to the Jeep, bus, tricycle driver about the high health risk of poor vehicle maintenance and improper driving practices. And patronize mass railway transit, for example, the MRT or the LRT. For office workers, we can reduce use of air conditioning and ensure that rooms are skilled. We can make sure that lives are energy efficient, we use company vehicles wisely and make sure that they are well maintained, and use natural lighting by opening window curtains at the time. Next slide. At home, we can use low watt bulbs or energy efficient energy saving lights, limit the use of air conditioning units and keep the temperature a few degrees higher. Don't burn garbage, avoid using aerosols, and properly dispose of refrigerant, refrigeration, equipment, and use coolant. Next slide. For everyone, talk to people on what they can do about air pollution. Report smoke belchers to LDO, MMDA, and or the appropriate local government units. Walk or ride your bike to places. Take the bus or mass rail transit whenever you can. Work with residential associations to stop burning of garbage. We can plant trees and spread the word about the ban of smoking in public places. What will be done to polluting industries? There will be a fine of not more than 100,000 100, for every day of violation shall be charged against the owner of a stationary source until such time the standards have been met. 
for gross violation, the penalty is imprisonment of not less than six years, but not more than ten years upon the discretion of the court. At the same time, the pollution and adjudication board or PAB could not close the firm through the issue issuance of a cease and desist order. What will be done to smoke belching vehicles on the road? Smoke belching vehicles on the road shall be subjected to emission testing by properly equipped enforcement teams from the DOTC or LTO or its duly deputized agents. Violators will be subject to the following fines or penalties. For the first offense, 1,000 pesos. Second offense, 3,000 pesos. And for the third offense, 5,000 pesos plus a seminar on pollution management. Clean Air Act in effect. Towards cleaner air. March 20, 2014 at Iloilo Ilo City. The city government received an anti-smoke belching machine for its clean air program from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Intensified Environmental Protection, Clean Air of 2019. The Department of Environmental and Natural Resources, Environmental Management Bureau. For clean air, our priority activities are the following. First, monitoring the compliance of firms or industries. Second, operationalization of air shed governing boards, and lastly, calibration and, ma and maintenance of air quality monitoring stations. So this is a copy of the Clean Air Program in 2019 of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. The objectives of this program mainly focus on achieving and maintaining air quality that meets the national air quality guidelines for criteria pollutants throughout the country and minimizing the possible associated negative impacts in the country's economy. The full copy of this program can be seen in the department's official website. Another example of the Clean Air Act in effect in the locality is the continued monitoring of air quality within the city and the province through the ambient air quality monitoring systems in Leganes, Iloilo and La Paz, Iloilo City. These ambient air quality monitoring systems involves the measurement of carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, ammonia, ozone, and particulate matter 2.5 and 10, in urban, industrial, and rural areas, all of which can be harmful to humans when inhaled in larger quantities than normal and help the assigned bureaus and departments to do something about it. As a summary of our report on the Clean Air Act of the Philippines, breathing in oxygen is so natural to us that we rarely even stop to realize that we are doing it. And thus, we rarely, if ever, take into account the damage that is being done to the quality of our air. Of all the essential nutrients needed by the human, oxygen is the one we must have on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, because we can live without it even for a few minutes. And the world needs us now more than ever. With the continued destruction of the earth, we could make our own little difference to help the earth continue to breathe clean air that would support life for us and for the future generations. It is never too late. Us breathing in clean air upholds our human rights to life and good health and our right to live in a clean, healthy, and sustainable environment. So that would be all for our report of the Clean Air Act of the Philippines. Thank you so much.